And somebody left a comment that uh, Jeff and I should go to the gym because we weren't strong enough to insert the <laughs> to insert the magazine into the gun. So, but we appreciate your comments, no matter what you say. Uh, uh, I did get a laugh out of that comment for sure. <laughs> well, he has another point. I do need to get to the gym. <laughs> <laughs>
over 131 components, give or take. Unlike the AK-47, which has around 70 components. So, and these AR-15 bolt carrier groups, they're not massive like the AK-47 is. Um, and also the AR-10. Those, those have much larger bolt carrier groups and they can take the abuse. But um, the issue is, is, is always slamming this um, to get it to seat properly into the into a uh, AR-15 with the bolt closed. And a lot of that stuff is seen in the movies where they just, you know, it's more dramatic. And that would be the only place that you'd really want to do something like that is for the movies. Uh, it just makes the scene more dramatic. But, you know, in real life, and especially in an SHTF scenario, we want to treat our gun with, with the utmost respect. And that way it's going to last a lot longer. And, and so if you watch my other videos, you'll notice that I have a video on, on the AR-15 and the extra parts you should have for an SHTF scenario. And one of the extra parts that you should have is, a, is another bolt carrier group for the AR-15 in case this one would ever crack or not be operational at some point. Okay, so an, another um, a way to insert the magazine is called tactical loading or, or also tack loading. And that's something the military came up with, and, and that's, it's not described here in the owner's manual, uh, tack loading. Um, so they, they don't even mention it in here. But that's something the military came up with for, um, you know, if they had a uh, pause in the fighting, uh, and they were probably down to two or three more rounds left with the, with the other magazine they had in there. Well, what they would do is leave the bolt closed, release that magazine, put a fresh magazine in that had the required amount that they wanted, whatever that would be. So, um, and then they would load it and slam it up into to get the magazine to seat properly. Now, continued use of this uh, in an SHTF scenario is going to put a lot of wear and tear on the bolt carrier group. And that's why you want to avoid that. And you always want to insert the magazine, if all possible, with the bolt open. And that's the way the gun was designed to be. But in, in any situation that you're in, like an SHTF scenario, you always want to insert the magazine with the bolt open to protect that bolt carrier group and not be slamming it up there against the bolt carrier group all the time like that, because it, it will wear out eventually, all right? So let's, let's, let's go into uh, the next segment here and show you what I mean here. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and get the owner's manual out and follow it step by step on how we are to insert the magazine into the AR-15. Now this is a Colt LE 6940 um, M4. Um, it's a look-alike M4 because it does not have select fire. So the internal components are just the same as an AR-15. Uh, this is probably Colt's finest firearm they ever made, if not the um, finest firearm but, um, that Colt has produced. But anyway, um, I have talked to them a couple times on the phone, and each time that I did, I wanted to talk to a different representative. That's why I called them back the second time to see if somebody else would tell me something different. But each of them told me that to always follow the owner's manual and to insert the magazine the way the owner's manual suggests that it be inserted. That way you won't have any issues uh, later on down the road. But anyway, let's go ahead and start here. Now let's assume that the bolt is closed, all right, and the dust cover is closed, all right, and we go to load for the first time. Okay, the first thing that you want to do on loading, it says here, is to place the cartridges into the magazine and press them down, okay? So if you want to do tactical loading, I would suggest only loading, um, downloading uh, two or three into these mags. Now this, this mag holds 20, all right? And so what I would do is I wouldn't put any more than 18 into this mag if you want to do tack loading. And what that does is it allows the um, magazine to have a little more give to it when you press it up against the bolt with the bolt closed. And you're going to have better success seating the magazine into the gun that way with the bolt closed. Now, 
These guns are designed to have the bolt open on the last shot fired. So that's why they were designed that way. And then that's when you really are to insert the next magazine. That's way, that way you'll be assured that it will seat properly. And then when you go to release the bolt carrier group, you're sure to have one go into battery, okay? But when you're, when you're inserting these magazines with the bolt closed, there's no guarantee that one will go into battery after you do that. So let's go ahead and follow this. So after we do step one here, and I've, I only have five uh, rounds in here, it says to repeat on number two, it says to repeat until the magazine is lo uh, loaded with the required number of cartridges that you want. Next thing to do is to pull the handle to the rear, push in the lower portion of the bolt catch, push the charging handle forward to its last latch position. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, the dust cover opened up when we pulled back the charging handle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pull the charging handle all the way back and push in our bolt catch, all right, on the left side of the receiver. Let's go ahead and strap this down so it doesn't move on us here. All right, there we go. All right, the next step. So then the next part of number three is push the charging handle forward to its latched position so it should click into place. There it goes, all right? That's the last position, okay. Um, rotate the fire control selector le lever to safe and it is in the safe position on the left side of the receiver here. All right, insert the magazine into the magazine well to ensure the magazine catch is engaged. All right, let's go ahead and do that. See how easy that seats in there like that? Okay, now it says press the upper portion of the bolt catch to release the bolt and chamber of the cartridge. All right, so here we go. All right, so that should have put one in there. We're in the safe mode. Let's go ahead and pull this back slightly and see if one went into battery. And yes, it did. It did go into battery here, as you can see. Okay? So one is in the chamber there. All right, so now if we wanted to do that, practice that step again, we'd release the magazine first and then pull the bolt back hold it back there with the bolt catch okay so that is the proper way that the gun was designed to have the mag inserted I never said that it can't be inserted with a bolt closed all right it can be and that's where that would be the only time you do that is tack loading and that's something the military uh, teaches um, people when they go in the military is to do tactical loading all right but you got to think about this in an SHTF scenario, this is going to wear out over time, the bolt carrier group. Okay, they're, they're prone to split, and like I said before, they're not a huge bolt carrier group like the AK-47. The AK-47 can take much more abuse than the AR-15 bolt carrier group can. All right, so, and also the AR-10 is a bigger bolt carrier group, and it can take more abuse too. But if you're not in the military and doing tactical loading, there's no reason to insert the magazine into the AR-15 with a bolt closed. You always want to do it, especially in an SHTF scenario. Always want to do it with a bolt open, all right? Now, the military teaches this because they have an unlimited supply of parts for these AR-15s, and they also have an unlimited supply of, of guns, too, that they can provide if, if one would, you know, malfunction from that type of uh, uh, magazine insertion. But just remember, in an SHTF scenario, it's not like what you see in the movies, okay? So they do that in the movies for dramatic effect, close, you know, loading a, or inserting a magazine to, into a AR-15 with the bolt closed, all right? So it's best to always do it that right way. Now let's, let's go over and, and talk with Jeff, who's had some uh, issues with his AR-15, uh, inserting the magazine with the bolt closed. Jeff and I did a video um, some time back, and you can find it here on the channel here. And he was having trouble uh, inserting uh, the magazine into the, his AR-15 here uh, with the bolt closed. It wouldn't seat properly. And Jeff, why don't we uh, recap um, what make and model um, AR-15 you have here? 
Well, this is the uh, Delton Sport model. It's made in uh, Elizabethtown, um, let's see, North Carolina. And uh, um, nice weapon. It's light, easy to handle, shoots real well. Um, and as you said, the only problem we had when we made our plast film was the magazine. Uh, probably a half a dozen times that magazine was inserted and when you pull up to shoot it, it hadn't picked up the pick, picked up the shell, it wasn't seated properly. But um, otherwise it's a really good gun and I think that we've learned something about the AR-15 and why that has to be inserted at a certain time in a certain way. I actually called um, uh, the company um, the other day and talked to a representative there and he's going to send us a, a new um, owner's manual and that's what I always recommend is is to go by the owner's manual. So we got to be careful in an SHTF scenario that we treat our gun like it's our best friend. So anything else that you would like to add Jeff? No, nope, I think that's it. I think we'll, uh, we'll arrange to uh, fire it again one day and see if we and do it the right way and make sure we don't have any yeah and make sure you subscribe to our channel here and that way you'll be notified ring that bell you'll be notified when we do that and hit that like button um, I'm pretty sure we helped them out today right Jeff well it certainly helped me yeah yeah <laughs> exactly yeah. and somebody left a comment that uh, Jeff and I should go to the gym because we weren't strong enough to insert the <laughs> to insert the magazine into the gun so but we appreciate your comments no matter what you say uh, uh, I did get a laugh out of that comment for sure <laughs> well he has another point I do need to get to the gym <laughs> But Jeff here's a big guy. I mean, he's probably strong enough to take anybody out there in an arm wrestling competition, <laughs> aren't you, Jeff? Well, I got a little bit of strength. So I don't think yeah. it has anything to do with how strong you are of inserting a magazine into a gun. Anybody should be able to do it in the house, no matter how strong they are. <laughs>